top five reasons why you should be writing your own packages. Hi, my name is Tino, aka The Dirty Quant, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different with no code. Something I've been thinking about for a while is, you know, should you be using, you know, pre-built packages that you can just sort of pip install, conduct, pick your poison, uh, rather than essentially writing your own, you know, going through the, the trouble of writing your own. And I'm not talking about, you know, foundational blocks to, to coding. We're not gonna re be rewriting pandas, but maybe an idea someone started somewhere, uh, but more, you know, what can you benefit from, you know, and where, you know, where are the gaps? All right, number one, gives you an opportunity to know what goes in the sausage. So start with something simple. Maybe you wanna do your own correlation. Can you build something that does it just as quick, just as accurate, just as easy? You know, you can just feed in a data frame and spits out something nice. If you can replicate it, maybe you start to understand, okay, well, are there other libraries that it's calling on? Is it pure Python? Is it calling Cython? What's the data transformation that needs to happen in order for this to be, you know, done in a reasonable time? This will really make you a better, a better programmer, a, uh, a better data scientist, and you know, eventually you can start uh, start writing your own. Number two, you can make small changes to improve and customize. But this is what being a researcher is all about: not being content with the status quo and wanting to to do something different. You know, drink drink a different cocktail than everyone else is having. So you know, you can take your own uh, your own package and sprinkle your own little touch of magic. Whether this is for you know an improvement, maybe there's been some advances in the in the literature. Maybe you want to customize it to your workflow. By writing your own, you can do that rather than just doing what everyone else is doing. Some packages might be tailored to a specific industry, so you might you might take something in you know biomechanics and actually adapt it to your deep space photo exploration project. Why not? Number three. Some packages are never updated. So use your finest Googling skills. Other search engines are available. And you finally found the desired package. That's exactly what you needed. Great. Start using it for a few months and then Python gets updated to 4.2. All of a sudden stops breaking. So you shout and throw abuse at the author on the GitHub page. Crickets. No one responds dig a little bit deeper and find out the output that it's been giving you was just numpy.rand. In the background, it was just hogging your CPU, mining for cryptocurrency, and now you've got an electricity bill for $10,000. Number four, good lesson in turning theory into practice, aka turning the inky bits into actual bits. Look, I know, Greek letters are scary. Academic literature is illegible. What you can start doing is Take something like, you know, Black Shoals model and look how it's actually implemented. Take a package that actually uses it and see how is that, uh, that theory turned into code. Is there any little tips and tricks, maybe naming conventions that, you know, you can start to reuse. And then maybe you can, you know, forge your own path, um, take your own favorite academic literature and turn those formulas into code. How do you implement them? What's the best way? What's the neatest way? How do you make it as flexible as possible to maybe implement a different distribution? How do you do that? It will make you a far better coder, a far better researcher, a far better at reading academic papers and not making the whole process so daunting. Number five, rather than being a consumer of code, be a producer of code. Sometimes you build things out of curiosity. Sometimes you build them out of necessity. Post it to your GitHub and all of a sudden you'll find there are people in the same situation as you that wanted to solve that exact problem. All of a sudden, you're a subject matter expert. You've been flown around the world in private jets, giving TED talks and saying how you nearly conquered world hunger. And all because you wrote a package that writes hello world where each letter is in a different color. Hope you enjoyed that. Just a little bit of fun, but you know, with a sprinkle of truth in there. If you enjoyed what you saw, like, subscribe, share it to the world, tell your grandma. In the description page, there's actually a link to my forum, dirtyquant.com, where we can keep the conversation going. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.